What can you tell me about Inside Out 2? I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I don't really have anything to do with Inside Out 2. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Firstly, Mindy, I, I want to know, have you embraced your inner Kelly Kapoor and made your New Year's resolutions get more attention? Oh, my resolution was to get more attention. <laughs> um, I think mine is, you know, I think mine is the opposite. I would like to recede, recede from the public eye. You know what, in which case I'll take all the attention. I'm a big old attention whore. I love the Good. stuff. Take I'll it. take that. Charlie, let's let's talk about Velma. It's this gritty adult series with murders and drug references, but I notice there's not a lot of swearing in it, and it got me thinking, maybe there's not a lot of swearing in it because the cast used all of their swearing up off mic. So I want to know, who is the sweariest cast member out of Mindy, Glenn, Constance, Sam? Who's the sweariest out of them all? Jeez, God, probably me. Everyone everyone else is so polite. You know, when we, and we do this all in person, yeah, there's not a lot of, I wish I had a juicier answer for this, but you know, it's weird because we're not like every, all the recordings done over Zoom. So it's pretty just business. It's not like you're on set goofing off and, and the personalities are really kind of hanging out. It's just someone comes in, you do your lines. I, I say, that's great, or let's do that again. And then, and then they're out. I'm kind of sweary, but I try to. I've been trying to work on that because of my two little kids. So, but I, I do think I'm probably of those other cast members. I know you asked Charlie, but I think I'm probably. I might be the sweariest. Well, Mindy, I'm going to ask you a question now. Please, I will get demonetized if you swear a lot. Do yeah. not swear. Okay, okay, thank you. You must be so sick and tired of Glenn by this point now, because <laughs> you know. You've dated him in the Mindy Project. You took his job in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Now you create this crime-solving group with him in Velma. <clears throat> so you must have the dirt on Glenn. Have you got any dirty little secrets about him that no one knows? I, you know, I have worked with him for a while and what I just, I, you know, he's one of those infuriating guys where if he has any dirty little secrets, he keeps it really like close to the chest there. Um, He's so funny on the Mindy Project, and I love how different his character was than in Always Sunny, where obviously Dennis is like the funniest. And then now as Fred, he's like doing a voice. Like the whole character is like just so funny on the show. So no, you know, the only thing I know about him, I just got, I was looking at his Christmas card actually yesterday, because he's like this beautiful wife and, and two kids. And I'm like, there's gotta be something with this guy. It's too <laughs> sneaky. He really is a golden god, isn't he? Golden god. really is. Yeah. And finally, Mindy, I want to bring you back to your Twitter. In April 2009, oh, no. you you tweeted that you're looking more and more like Velma from Scooby-Doo. I, I mean, you called it all of those years ago. In 2009, you said it. You can predict the future. <laughs> well, I definitely, uh, I've definitely worn glasses like her throughout my entire childhood. Um, luckily, Velma's glasses are so chic now that they have like, they're now trend setting. Um, but yeah, I think what, that's one of the reasons I love the character is she's just like, for the time she came, you know, the sh original show came out in 60s and 70s, she was really like sort of non-traditional um, for, you know, in terms of other cartoons, right? That's one of the things I really like about her. Well, as you can clearly predict the future, I mean, I could ask you for the lottery numbers. I could ask you what's going to happen between Andrew Tate and Greta Thunberg. I could ask you that, but instead, I want to very quickly ask you about a film coming out next year. What can you tell me about Inside Out 2? I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I don't really have anything to do with Inside Out 2, but I think I loved working on the original and it was just like, it was such a great experience. Oh my God, that's made me disgusted that disgust won't <laughs> appear in it. Oh God, right, I'm going to go have a little cry now. So thank you so much for chatting to me and thank you for bringing Velma into my life, guys. Thank you.